We change gears, but this story is also involving a kid, a feel-good story that the MTA doesn't often get a chance to tout. A six-year-old boy who uses a wheelchair, dressed up as a bus for Halloween, and for his commitment to the concept of public transportation and for his love of buses and trains, today he got quite a, tr quite a treat. Here's Iowa News reporter Jim Dolan. Ready? Harry Tay wanted to wear the hard hat. It was a gift from the MTA and part of the grand tour he got at the Seven Drain Maintenance Garage from MTA President Andy Byford today. Another way of changing track so you can see where the switches are. See, Mr. Byford doesn't really run into many people who actually like the system he's in charge of. It's fantastic to, uh, to meet someone who's so keen. He loves his buses, he loves his trains. But Harry does, so much so that he dressed up as an MTA bus for Halloween this year. In case you can't tell him apart, that's him on the left. And as a Q train last year, just look at how happy he is to be a Q train. Harry's always had a fascination with trains, um, and I think that's the same with all little boys his age um, you know it's something that you think that kids grow out of but he just loves it of course getting around in mass transit in a wheelchair can be a challenge and nobody knows that more than the MTA's accessibility chief Alex Alagudin who gets around in one too it is but at the same time um, getting stuck on the frustration won't help us to get to the future so far at least Harry doesn't seem to mind it's an adventure to him. He doesn't see any different. Harry didn't talk with us today. We don't want you to think he couldn't talk. He could, and he knows so much about the trains and the subways and the buses. He just was overwhelmed by it all, being so close to the shiny steel and the steady hum. He went through the car wash in one of the buses today. It was all just too much. He couldn't talk about it. In Flushing, Jim Dolan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.